Hi, today I'm taking a look at this Bluetooth audio adapter. Uh, that's a tiny one. And here's the manual. Uh, it does say that it's uh, supporting Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, does it have Bluetooth 4.0? I have no idea. I just support it. Uh, 10 meters, 2.4 gigahertz, 90 milliamp hours battery. Let's take a look inside. If that's actually true, according to this, its working time is four hours. And it is actually, well, it's quite light, as they say here. Uh, it has all those buttons. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you will have to press and hold to uh, fast forward and rewind, if I understand it correctly. It also has a microphone built in, which is quite impressive. And it's, well, it's working fairly fine. We will test it later on. Uh, it has that 3.5 millimeter jack with if you can take a look here, it's not exactly, you know, you know, here's the minus, the, the, the plus, the volume controls. And it's skewed a little bit. It came with this micro USB cable that didn't really work that well because it doesn't transfer any data, but it works. So it's only for charging. I originally thought that you have to actually, you know, open it up around the edges, but no, you have to remove the buttons. So either way is fine, it's just they are just clipped on. So you have to work your way around here. Just making sure that you don't rip anything apart. And there are here uh, four screws. It seems that it works quite well as an input device, so any kind of AX. Uh, as expected here because it does say it's a Bluetooth adapter, but it doesn't work too well as a uh, Well, basically an adapter for your wired headphones. It's it's horrible. I think it's due to impedance uh, It's a, some kind of compatibility. It doesn't work too well So let's take a deeper look here. That should come apart right now Okay so we're inside, let me try and remove this tiny board, hopefully there is no glue on this, uh, yeah, seems to come apart quite well, so there's this tiny switch that we, you would use to turn it on, and here's the battery, it's, well that's a huge blob if I ever saw one, the plus is connected to the what the heck? Uh, it is connected to a trace directly for some reason. Okay, so if I bend this over, yeah. So they uh, they messed up this board. For yeah, I I'm not sure what's going on here. Hopefully, not all of those are like that. So somebody uh, broke this tiny board. So they removed the traces and they connected directly the. Uh, battery using the wire okay mm -hmm. this microphone works quite well uh, I will test this uh, later on and from what I can see it's far more complicated than other tiny adapters that I was using before Bluetooth mode yeah that means that it is connected and it starts playing instantly and here I have the control that's a, yeah, I don't have the buttons marked, volume down, volume up, I think that's an next track, not really, that's an next track, yeah, that's an next track, so let me go back, and this is a play pause, if I double click it, it redials the last, uh, last phone number I had, and if I press and hold it, it should, yeah, it should do something else. Hopefully, no, nothing happens. Completely nothing. Uh, yeah. So there you have it. Uh, let's take a look at this tiny shape here. So I was able to find something after I typed in AC one seven four two AP and. I skipped the rest because I couldn't get any uh, results and it is, uh, well it found a uh, Texas Instrument uh, 2.4 Bluetooth low energy system on a chip. Uh, it seems that it, this chip is focused on a low energy consumption. Uh, it has well, quite a lot of features uh, if you take a look at this, but 
it's probably just a clone what we have here what really matches is that it is a Bluetooth 4.0 uh, chip so that at least this part matches okay so I connected a pair of headphones and as I mentioned the uh, there is pretty bad quality overall if you try to use it as a basically a receiver for headphones so you cannot really use it uh, you, it's only good for input as an AVX and it's really good actually I mean for that price it was around uh, four dollars a little bit less than that including shipping for some reason uh, so if I start playing here you may notice well the, the sound is very tinny over here and but there is a way to change that and you will notice that there are two capacitors here and let me start playing and short them out this is a right head headphone and I mean it will be on your right side but as with all of those Bluetooth uh, devices from China the for some reason the cha channels are flipped I tried with several of my headphones with a better ones with a actual uh, radio that had AUX the channels are flipped I don't know why but I will have to flip them back unfortunately there is a way and I want to use this as a, basically a headphone receiver let me start playing here It, what you should notice is a significant increase in volume and also um, it basically enriches the sound so it was an impedance thing so what I'm going to actually do here is remove those two capacitors over here they are on the border were marked uh, by someone uh, C10 and C9 and uh, so I will remove them and cross those links so left channel will be actually the left channel and right channel will be the right channel let me start with the removal by providing a little bit of fresh solder if I heat them properly yeah it flows away and here for your reference this minute capacitor let's let's take a look it's really tiny I I don't enjoy measuring something like that uh, let's take a look 1.4 microfarads 1.4327 yeah so there you go in case you will have to replace this now let me get rid of the other one not exactly sure why they are switching the channels I mean all uh, headphones from China with that connector they are marked correctly they have the correct channels but anything with Bluetooth almost anything it's it's always flipped since both are disconnected let me prepare the wires just keep a tiny little bit just to solder it down and from this side I will obviously reuse this tiny wire because I don't need that it to be that long so it will be basically a cross link so fortunately this is covered with uh, uh, I think lacquer or something like that I need to heat it up to uncover the um, the copper uh, on the on the inside so I would have to do something like that since I want to go easy on myself and do a, just a cross link here so that's why I'm going around all of this okay that should be good and that's yeah that's too small for me I guess and now I can help myself with a with this tiny screwdriver here to push it onto this and and heat this pad over here to make sure that it is connected cut this tiny wire from the board I don't need that access and it would uh, if I won't do that uh, it will surely surely short me to this ground over here I, I presume it's a ground I didn't check it but let's take a look if it's uh, if it's stereo now. Well, let me turn it back on. It does seem to work just fine now. I kept messing around, and what you will notice over here, uh, connected parallel to the capacitor that's over here, which is actually a stabilizing capacitor uh, for the power supply to the main Bluetooth chip. 
uh, and I added my own because I noticed that there is additional uh, well noise when it's powered on and I'm listening in a quiet environment so that would stabilize it a little bit what I originally wanted is to use this 470 microfarad which had a much better effect but unfortunately I couldn't so I used one of these uh, these are only 100 microfarads I, do, I don't have any other small capacitors that would fit here uh, and that's only 3.3 volts so presumably I will be able to find something similar in the future Uh, until then uh, there is this connection that I made and now I try to measure the current uh, that it takes to run this so let me power this on and you will see that it's you know, you know 15 it, it rises up to 40 uh, I can see here that it is connected that it is playing uh, so let me connect the uh, my headphones here I replaced the connector but these are Apple uh, headphones uh, with with uh, around 40 uh, let me take a look here with around 40 ohms per uh, per earpiece uh, so it took quite a bit of current so presumably with this tiny battery it uh, can it last an hour I'm not even sure right now and I if I just stop playing here on my player it's still exactly the same so it seems that yeah they dropped a little bit so 80 when it's completely idle nothing is playing so let me disconnect the device so it takes quite a bit of you know you know they, 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 these headphones are putting quite a bit of load here so as you can see if it's completely disconnected it's only 30 milliamps and if I connect my headphones it the load is much much higher let me try another ones these are just uh, non-brand headphones that I use for testing oh that's quite a lot okay now I can finally put everything inside okay it seems to fit fine let me try and add the uh, the screws but uh, I'm not sure about the how it should be everything should be located I think this way is the correct way yeah seems to line up and if I remember correctly the minus was from the side of the uh, headphone jack let me put that in so it all seems to fit now okay okay so that's working and before i go let me show you how the mic sounds like here so let me test it out i'm keeping it close to my mouth uh, and now i'm a little bit farther but that's, that's about it guys thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time <laughs>